Paul here with another video. Today we're going to be SFTPing into a server with a few different apps. First, we're going to start in Blink and generate a new key. Then we're going to navigate into a file browsing app of your choice and create a text document and paste the private key information. Then what we're going to do is rename the file to iPad SFTP. The first step we're going to be looking at today is FTP Manager Pro. Looking at the screenshots from the App Store, you can see it has a clean UI with both a light mode and a dark mode, as well as colored syntax, which is always a plus. So diving right in, we're going to start with the FTP Manager Pro on the left and drafts on the right for quick copy and paste action. So in this case, we're going to use the IP address as both the display name as well as the IP address. Uh, ports, it's usually the stock is uh, 22, uh, otherwise whatever your server is connected to. And for this app, it's the only app that I managed to be able to log in with a key versus a password. So now what we're going to do is select the text document we created in SSH as the key and replace the username with whatever you want. In this case, it's ptips. Now we are connected to the server. We're going to navigate to a random directory and open up our files app to see the FTP or SFTP in action. So we're just going to take a random document, in this case event cal, and you can see that it transferred over relatively quickly. The next app we're going to be looking at is File Browser Pro. Going over their profile, you can see that they have a relatively clean interface with multiple file tab browsing, the ability to connect your home computers and network and cloud services. You also have the ability to mark up PDFs as well as an enhanced music player that you can download files from the internet. Siri voice actions is always a major plus and makes it one of my favorite apps. Diving in, you can see that there are quite a few different services you can sync. Comparing it to the basic one, you can tell that you definitely get a lot more features. As the video suggests, this is going to be an SFTP video, so that's exactly what we're doing. Sadly, I could not get the key to work, so we're just going to log in with a password. For computer name, you can see that you can put the IP address there, so relatively simple there. And once we enter the password, we can use our face to log in, which is also another pretty awesome feature. Pulling up the same file directory as the previous app, we're going to open up files, which I know I could have done another browser pro tab. Now we're going to move the Lumar window tent warranty into the server in that location. What kind of review app video would this be without Textastic, the number one paid app when it comes to programming on the iPad right above Blink? Looking at the screenshots, you can see there's various colors of syntax for the different languages, file transfer, as well as the ability to customize it to your liking. Now that we're all set up, we're going to go ahead and add a new connection. And of course, it's going to be SFTP. For title, we're going to be using the IP address as well as pasting that in the host section. 
port 22 as always the default unless your server specifies for a username it's going to be ptips now that we entered the password we're going to go ahead and sign into the server we're going to navigate to the same directory as we previously did and this time around we're going to transfer files back and forth this app works really well in full screen because it gives you two sections no need to open up additional tabs so we can transfer files back and forth i like this feature a lot and it's just another perk of getting text tastic lastly we're going to be looking at documents by riddle over 450,000 reviews with 4.8 stars this is definitely a powerhouse of an app. Looking at the interface, you can see that it's really streamlined and they pulled a lot of inspiration from Apple that is even included on their music and audiobook player, markup and draw on PDFs. And it even includes a VPN, a feature that wasn't available on other apps. Another feature that's not available are the widgets, which is awesome. I definitely like that a lot. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we've done already a few times. Sadly, I could not get the private key to work on this either. So we're going to use a uh, password. Unlike the other apps, this one actually asked if they wanted you to save the password in keychain. So we're going to navigate into the correct folder. We can pre-specify that before logging into the server. And just like that, we've pulled up the files that we've already transferred with our other apps. Lastly, we're going to transfer a PDF document. In this case, it's some Apple Watch PDF. And as you can see, you can highlight and mark it up, which is one of their main features and that's popular in the power user community. My two favorite apps would be Textastic as well as Documents. They are really premium apps and seem to do what they want, despite having issues setting up the SFTP keys. If you could, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want me to look into a specific app, feel free to comment below. I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos frequently now that I got a workflow dialed in. So stay tuned and until next time.